Okay, this is probably one of the most important uh, videos in this series because if you don't learn this, you'll never the, be able to grind these single lip cutters. 90% of the time you're going to grind these things, you're going to do what I call an offset radius. And basically an offset radius, it, it sounds more complicated than it is, it's when you're not grinding a full ball, but you're just putting a little radius, a precision radius on the corner here. So let's look at this. This is a nice 3D rendering of a single lip cutter. This is done in AutoCAD Inventor. And big thing, let's see, here's, here's your split. We're split halfway in half, You uh, uh, the cutter, you already know it. See the space between the bottom of the blank and here, that's your relief. And if you look up here, that double line, the inner line, is your relief. It shows up here, and it really shows up on the 3D uh, view of it. There's your corner offset radius, and you can see there's been relief, and that's at 25 degrees. I'm trying to teach you guys how to put on there. So the 25 degrees puts your relief on, and then you swing it all the way around, and now you've got a, uh, a relieved cutter that can actually meld with, without uh, gouging into your part because it's been relieved. So the offset is the key to learning this whole system. So here's another straight-on view. What we're going to do is a quarter-inch cutter, and we're going to put on a... a grind a uh, 60 thousandths radius on the corner, okay? So let's look at this. Uh, once again, there's that 25 degrees, and then we've swung it around, walked it around, and relieved the cutter. And that shows your the inner circle there is your relief angle. That's your diameter. There's your cutting edge, okay? And there's your 25 degree angle. Remember I told you to set that one knob uh, the car on the carousel, tilt the whole thing at 25 and leave it there. You'll never have to uh, move that again, okay? So, the biggest thing you need to learn here is set that offset first. If you don't set that offset first and try to do it after you've started grinding your cutter, it's going to screw you up because uh, if you set it later, it pulls the cutter away from the wheel and then you go to swing it, it just makes a mess. So, set that first. So, if you know what type of cutter you're going to grind, set the offset. So how do we set that? Well, we're going to use this vernier scale. In the next video, I show you how to do that, but you need to know the formula to do that. So the offset is simple. It's the half of the, the diameter divided by two minus the radius. So in this case, we're using a quarter inch diameter cutter with a uh, 0.060 corner radius. So the diameter divided by 2 minus the radius equals the offset. So 0 0.250 divided by 2. So that's 0.125 minus 0 0.06. That's your offset, 0 0.065. Okay? And that's what we're going to do in the next video. I'm going to show you how to read this vernier and set it correctly. Set that offset first. Okay? So the first thing you do, then you know, I don't care. You can put the cutter in and align it with your split line with the red dot. Before you do any grinding, set that offset. It will really screw you up. This is the stuff you're taking this course for. So, you know, when I redid these videos and had to learn how to, not learn, but refresh my memory with the decal, you know, I, I had the cutter grinder. I had to remember which way to do this. And I remembered right away, wow, things get screwed up. Set the offset first. And just a quick bullet point, no offsets are needed for a full ball nose cutter because there is no offset, it's a full ball nose. And you'll learn more about that, but anytime you're gonna do a, an offset radius cutter, okay, which just means an end mill or a cutter with a, any size radius you want in the corner, you've gotta set that offset first. Okay, and so enjoy the next video where I take you through the actual uh, procedure to set that offset on this vernier slide. And we'll see you there. Thank you.